Hey everyone, Justice Curry here for another exciting episode. This time we are on location at Kane County Toy Show. Kane County's near Chicago, and I brought with me a special guest, my good friend, Sean. How you doing, Sean? I'm doing great. Have you found some deals today? Of course, always. Oh man, we've been here for several hours now, hiking, going through, digging through bins. Wait till you see what we pulled out at the end. Um, but I'm going to take you inside, just kind of show you what it's about. It's a two-day event. Kane County's a uh, Sunday event. Technically, it's a one-day event, but we make it a two-day event. Saturdays are dealer setup. Or if you're a customer, you can pay a little e bit extra, 50 bucks, and you get first dibs on everything. So I'm going to take you around, obviously having first dibs and seeing what the d dealers are bringing in before the masses of crowds come in is a plus. I've been to the show many times in the over the years, and typically it's wall to wall. I mean, people are squished around. You can barely even function. But right now, you're going to see a huge variety of uh, different kinds of toys from old tin toys to modern toys to vintage toys a little bit of everything obviously if you're looking in the background you're like oh my gosh what is that look at this look at this you know gi joe hydrofoil you got a ninja turtles van that's a beautiful price on the the party wagon right there if it's not the the new released one which i don't think ah yeah it's the 25th anniversary they fooled me but it's still an excellent piece now walking around you get some of the older um different generations of toy collectors but i mean everything i'm finding i'm finding awesome deals these guys have been hooking me up awesomely throughout how you guys doing today what's up good good hey what do you got in this booth today all kinds man. all kinds all right well, so what are you looking for we got it so you split a booth you guys are buddies i'm assuming of course and you split a booth and you both bring in some things that you like a and bit of this little bit of that all right and it, i'm guessing it finances your toy hobby so you sell things to make money so you can buy more that's right just, just like right. us that's what it's all about that's right. so today is saturday it's only for vendors setting up or customers that want to pay that extra little yeah. premiums have you guys personally found anything found yourself he's found some good stuff what are you finding well, I got a got a little jiggler from uh, from the '60s. What? The, that's amazing. I got that him is for a buck. Uh, you got to be that. kidding me. No, can't you, beat that. that's awesome. Whoa. We're thinking he's Zelda. He's from Zelda. Gosh, yeah, I didn't know Zelda would make a toilet. Have you yeah, found any maker's marks on it? Yeah, there's, there's an L on the back. ELC. 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 Oh my gosh. Yeah, so sure. it's something you gotta look for. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, that's what I, you know what? That's Dungeons and Dragons. what I was thinking. Dungeons and Dragons. Ooh, this is catching my eye right yeah. there. Look at this, that. This is uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Is it? Yeah. Three dollars. Awesome. There's <laughs> deals to be had. But if you didn't come the first day and pay that little extra fee, these guys are gonna find all the good deals. And I'm telling I'm telling you, I found some epic deals, even in this very booth. Um, I came here earlier, so we'll show you around. So we got a mixture of vintage with GI Joes, um, you know, some cards. I we had some um, Estrella GI Joes I was seeing earlier from Brazil. Um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and excellent prices. Some guys price it right at eBay. Some guys, you know, 30% below eBay. I'm seeing half below eBay. Um, so you get all sorts. It's really, really fun. A lot of Motu. I'm seeing tons of Masters of the Universe. Um, I like hoarding Masters of the Universe. I got plenty. Definitely got plenty. Nice. The Fright Zone. The puppets in decent condition. It's not completely tore up. Uh, some Ninja Turtles, again another party wagon, and I'm telling you most of this stuff is going to be gone by Sunday. When it's wall to wall, thousands and thousands of people, they're going to be going to be all over. The oh, Wheeled Warriors, look at that. That is awesome, dude. I don't see it very often, man. Oh, I, I flipped out over it. Yes, that's that's an amazing piece right there. We'll have to talk later after off camera. Maybe I'll buy that. It'll come home. So I'll just take you around. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Um, so some more modern toys. I mean, lots of things. Hey, mom. He's, he's saying hi to you, mom. He's saying hi to you. Um, and again, a different variety of generations of collectors so i mean if you like toys you like collectibles this is a great show to come to kane county k-a-n-e county toy show but don't go on saturdays only i go on saturdays to get the good deals i don't want you know thousands of people oh justice justice says come on friday and then 
then all the deals are taken. But I don't care. I want you guys to experience the deals as well. So when vendors leave or go home, they put the tarps over it. Um, we've been here, geez, five hours already. Um, and guys have been setting up, but oh, tons of ton lots of good Star Wars deals I'm seeing everywhere. People got Star Wars, seeing the background right there, and plus the ATAT -AT complete, it looks like all original with instructions. Awesome. Okay. Oh, this caught my eye earlier. The Radio Shack is the young man that uh, had this booth still here. I, I t was talking yeah, to him back. earlier. He'll be, coming back. He'll be coming back. Okay. I I need to buy that Galactic Man. It's like a Radio Shack knockoff of RoboCop. I dig it. I like it. He hooked me up on with some other things earlier when I was doing a walkthrough. Because like I said, we've been here five hours nonstop going around. Vendors are bringing in tubs. I'm like, ooh, I see this. I want this. And getting a first dibs. Masters of the Universe. Tubs and tubs. Ninja Turtles. Um, some, the uh, the mass. Oh, something, something for everybody. This guy had a pretty impressive booth as well with the Voltron light up. Uh, we talked about it earlier. It's like a, a lamp or something. Not a lamp, but a remote control Voltron toy. And then, obviously, I'm partial to Voltron. There's a box, vintage Voltron. It's beautiful. Um, and it, I could walk and go and go and go because it's, it's massive. This show is three large buildings, three of these types of buildings. And the main ones, two of this, two times. Um, older style, we've got Flintstone puzzles, Space 1999, beautiful. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Things that just bring it back memories and then things that are beyond my time, you know uh, My friend here he got a 12 inch GI Joe cause What drew you to the 12 inch? GI Joe's just the detail and just the history of it where it all began. Okay. Yep. Um, a lot yep. of history there Of course, but are you more partial to the three and three quarters? That's or? What I grew okay, up that's what exactly <laughs> that's what I figured um, Again, we'll show you some massive halls that we've already gotten at this show um, another Ewok village. I've seen a few firefighter, um, the uh, Ghostbuster firefighter, <laughs> not firefighters, firehouse. I passed on one, it was boxed complete, it was only a hundred bucks, and I was toy drunk. I was going wild looking for all these toys, and I went back to it, and of course, it's gone because it's a beautiful, it's a excellent play set and a good price. Um, so, good prices. Oh. Look at that. Looks like a hand custom painted Castle Grayskull up there. That is very, very. Did one of you guys do that yourself? No, I had somebody else do it for me. Oh, okay. That's really neat. Really neat. Something else that drew my attention to this booth earlier was the, uh, the Well of Souls. What a place that. Uh, again, I'll probably have to come back here later and, and talk to this fine gentleman about the well, Indiana Jones. That's a sideline that I've been wanting to collect, but you know, right now visionaries have been my uh, my little side project trying to collect. There's also dolls, Barbies, Legos, masses of amounts of Legos. Look at these, oh Pete, you want Legos? These people have Legos. Wow, this is awesome. Look at this. Wow, man. No, there's no such thing as too much. Yes, yes. Look at all these beautiful Lego sets. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow. And again, it's going to be packed tomorrow. There's going to be tons and tons of people, and it'll be a madhouse of uh, one of my favorite booths so far. Oh, I'm hoping he won't mind me video. Uh, recording of him but this what drew me to it was that sign it said bootlegs if you know me you know one of my focuses knockoffs obscures bootlegs these toys are straight from Mexico um, many of the different types of knockoffs crudely painted collectors go bonkers for these I have this exact same Skeletor in, in my collection um, the, the larger ones that I, oh my goodness, I would just, I need these. I need them. They're so nice. Uh, some of the battle cats that I noticed, like the, the blown plastic, but the, the unique colored battle cats, 
had they're they're hollow like the bottom of them were hollow i'm trying to see an example of them yep like this see they didn't even connect the plastic in the bottom which i found extremely unique the wrestlers unique oh my goodness i'm lo these are freaking sweet they got a little squishy oh, 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 oh. i love it i love it um thundercats I mean, I want to take every single one of these home with me right now because they are phenomenal. And then the Star Wars, so much nice and so much goodness. But if you get overwhelmed, you look in here, video games, vintage video games, Nintendo, Sega, look at all these darn Super Nintendos, uh, N64, look at piles and piles of them and then you even add the toys the wacky action 22 bucks where are you gonna find that for 22 oh ho, 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 ho. I had this in my collection and he's missing that gun <sighs> more things I didn't even notice that on the first <laughs> walk through gosh I love it all I love it all continuing there's there's a huge market of people that collect you know the Hot Wheels um, and then loose or the I, I don't know much about Hot Wheels. It's not my thing, but there's a market. There's people that collect it, so they're going to be here. More modern toys with the Star Wars Black Series, the Marvel Legends. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Check that out. Nice. Oh, come on. No. That can't be right. That can't be right. 1990 again something i'm gonna which one that you can buy those right now i think uh, someone was just telling me we had a conversation about this yesterday you can find them yeah it's uh the, the maddie classics make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel in the bottom left hand corner is a little button click subscribe you can look at my other videos not too many of them on there but one of them is a massive massive collection of uh, Mattel classics that I got um, just recently and we kind of go through them I bring people way smarter than I am the, the detail and, and tell me the history and and why they were made um, this booth is, is really neat my buddy here ended up getting a, uh, a, a vintage 12 inch GI Joe vehicle from this booth which we will detail later the old Shogun Warriors 200 bucks nice I remember this stuff some of the modern reactions Zartans old schools piles of goodness oh nice 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 oh nice it has the uh, the mouthpiece what did he say 20 I do 17. Huh? Hmm. Nice. Are you gonna get it? Uh, the clock's ticking. I don't know. I'm gonna <laughs> well, I I pass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a step on this one. All right. I'll take it for 15 if uh, he passes. Cool. There's a deal right there. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, those are all GI Joes. I'm gonna mark that. Those are all five dollars each. Excellent. All those Joes in the boxes. So. Mm -hmm. You find this figure often, but it's always missing that darn little scuba guy, <laughs> like his little uh, diving equipment. You know, falls off, gets lost in shag carpeting, and bye-bye it goes. Thank you, good sir. Appreciate it. Have a great show tomorrow. Yeah, and here's our store. We have a store in Roselle. Oh, okay. Excellent. Wax packs. Check it out. Records and toys. They'll give you good deals, just like I got. Um... Well, I kind of made a, a circuit already in here. Well, maybe I didn't. Did we already go down this row? It don't matter. We're going to go to the main building in a second. It's going to blow your mind. Some of these guys, high-end toys are woo. So stay with me one moment. All right, we're making our way to another building. This building has two parts to it. There are some phenomenal toys that you're going to enjoy. I guarantee it. So we'll make our way. It's not crowded. People are still setting up. Some guys are leaving for the rest of the day. Um, 
just huge walls professionally done guys travel throughout the United States to come to this show this is a major show that's been around for ages this guy is always has a uh, very professional um, setup I mean some of the the heavy hitters that you would always always look for are in included in there slave one parted Look at these. If you want, take one of the cards and you can email Absolutely beautiful. You know, you You're not going to find cards show. like that. Granted, but uh, these these are truly impressive. Oh my goodness, Sarah, you have a wonderful selection here. Wow. Thank yes, you. yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so moving right along, we got some other Brave Star. The the larger 12 inch turtles which are always missing these darn pieces like I have the four in my set but I don't have Michelangelo's nunchucks I don't have Leonardo's uh, sword there so that's a great addition and I'm hard-pressed sometimes I'm like do I buy it just for the weapon and it's a struggle it's the struggle of toys but digging in I found some excellent excellent army builders some toys um, you know some guys that are selling the antique tin toys will have one, I go, hey, do you have G.I. Joe's? And he's like, I got this one, and it's a Cobra Trooper. Okay, an 82 Cobra Trooper. Mixed in, how much you want for it? Five bucks? Alrighty then. Ooh. Nice. I like the color of that. I can't remember what mine... I have this one already. Nice. Some carded Supernaturals. Sergeant Rock. Oh, I'll come back. This booth, this booth was raising some eyebrows, some things that I've never seen before. The placemats, the Don Post mask, Wicket. Oh my gosh, look at these, look at these. And many, many of the booths have just loose Star Wars. You're gonna find them, but nine times out of ten they're going to be priced um pretty evenly with ebay wow i'm curious what he wants i'm sure he wants a pretty pretty penny for him oh the road ripper nice unyellowed bubble the battle bones robocop Woo! gi joe's you say i won't hey I don't remember this one. What is this thing? Some weird 1995 RoboCop? That's... I've never seen this. I hope he comes back to the booth because I am going to inquire on that one. I'm going to hide it so no one sees it. Is this your booth, sir? No, it's my friend's. What can I answer for you? Do you have a price? Do you know what this one would be? Where did he go? He should be right there. Kevin! Kevin! We might have Kevin. We might have some details on this amazing Robocop piece that, again, I do not recognize. I recognize that weapon. Hello. Oh my gosh. So, looking around, there's a vintage Starsky and Hutch, Lion King. Oh, I just had this one reason. Can you. Oh, uh, piece 50. 50? 50? 15. Oh, okay. Hmm. No, I wouldn't else though. I was gonna say fifty bucks. No, no. 50. I don't recognize this one because it's ninety-five. It's weird. Yeah, they made a, a small set. Like a, they, they did a set of a Rambo also. Did they really? Then, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've had him loose. You got a very and very impressive collection, oh, sir. If I do, sorry, I'm rolling my camera no, for oh, my I'm YouTube sorry. channel, I'm just kind of showing people uh, your wares oh, and yeah. yes, the Animanaman carded. Oh, so 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 nice. Yeah, I had a, um, I had a. Uh, Telescoping lightsaber Luke, I sold it this morning. You did? Yeah, in the parking lot. Oh! No. Yeah. First one I ever found. Re with the inner telescoping piece? Yeah. And, oh. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Well, congratulations Thank on selling that piece. Yeah, well, then I turned around spending $100 and bought a piece of the party. So there went that. Yeah, there, there it goes. It's cir well, the circle is complete. Question. Ooh. I remember seeing these before. Mm -hmm. These are unique. Oh my gosh! What what do you have on this? Oh, he's 80. Yeah. What I mean is because a lot of times their faces were melted. Okay. And see his face is intact, and the cards are a lot of times yellow. That yes. Was oh so my it's gosh. To get him. I just want him darn loose. He's so freaking sweet. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I recognize some of these guys. Yeah. The lion is the most common. Yep. Yep. 
Uh, oh my gosh. But yeah, a lot of times our faces just melt right off. I believe it. Yep. Wow, that's. They kind of blew up. Gotcha. Oh my goodness. The Monster Ball, I just recently got that. I showed some of my viewers uh -huh. before I got it loose. Um, that's, you know, it's kind of a Mad Ball esque type thing, I have just a not. Lot of mad ball do you have a lot of people? Oh. Mad Ball people, they come looking for Mad Ball. Yes, I so believe usually it. So I go around here on yeah. Dealer Day and I try to buy up all the Monster Balls because I sell them, but I haven't really seen any today. Yeah, no, yeah, I haven't seen any myself. No. Would Would you take 10 on this, yeah, sir? Sure. Excellent. Thank you so much. I'm going to set this no, down no here. Problem. That's going to be an excellent addition to my collection. Yeah, they, they're weird. I mean, I've only come across a couple of those, but they did the Rambo versions also. And I, somebody's like, what do you mean Rambo? I said, I'm telling you, they did them. I had a loose one for a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that's going to be a prize right on my wall. Thank you. Okay. Yes, Thank yes. You. Oh, man. It's a G.I. Joe's. Well, thank you so thank much, you. sir. I appreciate it. Yes, I Kevin, appreciate nice it, to too. Yes, nice to meet you. Do you need a bag or? No, I'm just going to walk around with this with pride. Thank right. you. Take care. Yes, I got it. Making magic. That's why you come on dealer day, because you get to find the deals of the century. All the other ones will go by quickly. He-Man, Skeletor, Loose... Oh, I haven't seen that case before. It's a common like Ninja Turtle Mo2 case that uh, you'll see. My buddy bought this earlier, complete, even with the visor. Yes, with the visor. Um, nice, nice. Beast Wars, Mott, the 2000X Masters, looks like. Oh, wow. Power Lord, yes. Yes, I hopefully I can gleam it in that light. Hulk 181. First appearance of, yes, Wolverine. So comics, tin toys, vintage toys, you're gonna find it all. I kinda like those things, they're oddball enough for set. Ah, I need to go reinvestigate that later. $90 each for the mask. Ooh, not a bad price, $48. Wow, not bad at all. Nothing to shade a stick at. That'll definitely go. If I don't buy it today, someone will buy it tomorrow. Excellent. And the Terradrome, look at that. <laughs> Cherry on top with the box. Terradrome box. This gentleman also has some very, very amazing pieces in his collection. Um, one of which I see right there, the G.I. Joe Crossfire. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I wish I didn't get rid of the crossfire. That was one of the, uh, one of the loose GI Joes. Just finding things after things. I've walked through this place several times already, and I keep locating more things because the dealers are bringing things in um, constantly. So it's nice to come here. It's low key because you're not here during Sunday when it's crazy. There's tons of people, but yeah, it's fun. Continuing along. But you can kind of get an idea on how large this area is. And this is, again, only one of two areas. Oh, man. Old school monsters, new school monsters. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Starstruck. Toy struck. It's heaven. It's nice. It's beautiful. Some of the older style toys. People look like they're getting ready to leave, and that's the telltale sign. They'll put the, sh the blanket over it. Do not touch. Do not get near it. And they have security here, which is nice, so people can feel safe leaving their stuff here. You wear a special button that changes um, every six months to the new show, and they know. And I, I didn't have my button on earlier. I took it off because it was on my coat, and I was checked. You know, security said, do you have a button? They don't want people sneaking in here or unauthorized. Oh, jeez. Look at, look at this, guys. Again, all these wonderful G.I. Joes. I see some Sky Patrol back there. I'm curious on what they're going to be asking. There's an Air Commando for 100 bucks. I don't have the Air Commandos. Some nice boxed. Oh, the elephant. Oh, $200. No, I need that elephant. I don't need the box, I need that elephant. I need that elephant. I don't want it, I need it. It needs to come home with me. 
some carded Star Wars figures. Oh yes, a removable helmet. Four hundred and ninety-five dollars. Twelve-inch Boba Fett. I like what they did there. I'm gonna hopefully that guy. Oh jeez, more knockoffs. Again, every time I look down, I'm like, oh, what's this? A set of six. Kind of the ninja type bootleg knockoffs down there. I don't need them carded. I need them loose. So I can't really pay the carded prices. Looks like my friend is, is motioning for me to come <laughs> over here because he's finding some fun stuff. Oh, yeah. Does he got the, he's got the bipod. Oh, <laughs> Five bucks each. Stop. Shoot. <laughs> Dude. Look at the stock. Some weapons here. Miscellaneous weapons for some other figures. What's he got, a, what's he got on this whole bag? Oh, nice. We're going to have to slow down on this. This is a nice booth. See a Nintendo box set right there. Ooh, the Batmobile. The superpowers early 80s line. It's got an excellent, excellent selection of some of the. Uh, ooh, what is that? <gasps> the Stretch Armstrong type turtle, which is weird, bizarre. I almost want this, but I'm afraid my kid's going to put it in their mouth. I just know they're going to put it in their mouth. I'll see if he takes a little bit less than it. Oh my gosh, what are these? What year are these? They gotta be modern. Yeah, 2007. But I am curious about this Stretch Armstrong type. <gasps> yes! The Game & Watch, $45, respectable price. 45 again. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna publish this video because I'm gonna publish this video and you guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, look at all these amazing things. And you're gonna to wanna to come here on Saturday and be my competition from now on. Sir, you have eight on this. Would you mind taking five? I'll do $6. $6? I will, you have yourself a deal, good sir. Thank you. Even though I know it's gonna go in my kid's mouth and bite it open and see what's inside. It's all right. It's all part of the adventure. There's five and six. Thank you, good sir. Thank you very much. Yes. I'll grab it and take it easy. Excellent. So we just got the Leonardo stretch type Armstrong. My friend is picking through the GI Joes as we speak. I'll let him get that score. He's. I've gotten some incredible scores earlier. Oh. Oh, 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 yes, you see it first, folks. You need to come here. Look at that, a sealed Voltron Castle of Lions case. Where do you see this? You're not going to find this anywhere else. Great, again, carded figures, proof cards. Oh, look at this. Bam, these are beautiful. It's a piece of art. Look at these proof cards. Yes, and proof cards, I don't know, for lack of a better term, are when the factory and, and Kenner employees are checking out the quality of the card. They're going to, you know, make some samples of them, for back of, lack of a better term, and look at them, see if there's any flaws in them before they mass produce them and make millions of the same ones and, and put the cards on the figures. I can remember being a kid and buying this. I was 16 years old, bought that same exact set, and thinking it was going to be worth a million dollars someday. I still have it carded. I still have it carded. It's one of the few things that I kept carded. Um, more of the old type toys that you can see. Different collections of E.T. Legos. Mass amounts of Legos everywhere. Um, again, behind. This is the connector to the other side of the building. You got the whole other area. Look how far it stretches back. Look at those people. They're like ants back there. It's Kane County Toy Show. You got to go, you got to check it out. More and more vendors are leaving for the day. We still have several hours left. Um, I don't know how much my legs are about ready to fall off, but I, I'm still high on adrenaline from finding toys, finding good deals. I went through this place several times already. I did not locate these. So I need to walk through many, many times to find these epic deals. 
um, modern, 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 but cool modern toys. Some of those toys that you don't see at the stores. Um, ooh, Dino Riders, Mad Balls. What has he got on it? Oh, it's the 2010 version. Damn it. The firehouse sign that's always missing. Yes, tons and tons of toy overload. Hey, I love it. Hey, mom, say hi back. <laughs> that guy looks familiar. It's like we saw him before. Do you have a twin here? <laughs> okay, cool. Wow. Well, did you find anything, sir? I found this war machine. Let me see. It oh. says five, but I'm getting it for three. <laughs> He's going to get it for three dollars. You heard it first. Kane County, three dollars. <laughs> Amazing go. deals. Right. You got to come shop here. It's going to be fun. All right. Just take care, sir. Uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. I saw back there the uh, Street Fighter version. Again, more toys are getting covered up. I'm seeing some Ghostbuster toys, um, some older toys. But you're going to have all generations coming here. Again, this is a very old show. People have been coming here, I don't know how long the show has been in existence, 80s. I know of several people that I've talked to that have been set up um, since the early 90s at this show. Batman, oh, again, you're not going to find these at you know some garage sale. These are beautiful, beautiful pieces. Batmobiles, cars. Things for your man. Oh boy. Edit. I'll fuzzy it that out later. I'll edit it out it's for our children audience. Um, I've never seen. Oh, it's the Mego version. Yes. Look at. Oh, 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 yes. So much goodness. Comics. Older toys. Beauteous. But older toys, then you got your mixed in with an Ecto-1 right there. The 1A from Ghostbusters 2. Wow. I dig that one. I have the similar one myself. Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars. Star Wars will be hot. It'll always be a uh, hot commodity even long before or long after I'm gone. People are going to always collect it. Whereas three and three quarters Joes, when I'm 70 years old, no one's going to care about three and three quarters Joes. Our generation's going to die. But Star Wars will always be something that will be around. And people that are young will want to retouch the old, the old 79 figures, um, the power of the force figures. So we're going to go through the connection, the corridor that leads into. And I lost my friend. I don't know where he went. There are several other uh, buddies that I had that uh, were hunting and found some epic deals themselves. I'm gonna put this in my backpack before I, feels like I'm just juggling things. I wanna be able to pick something else up. So this, wear a backpack, bring water with you to these shows. I kinda hate to do this, put this in there, but I don't care. I'm not trying to get it graded. Heck, I'll probably even open it someday because it's the same scale as my G.I. Joe's, three and three quarters. You're going to see dowels. There was another section of the first building we went to that had just strictly dowels. I didn't take you through it because of the older stuff. And I doubt many of my viewers are into dowels, but maybe some of you are. Anyway, this opens up into a large, large another area. Um, kind of get the scale of what we're dealing with. Ooh, that takes my opinion. Something catches my eye. Things when I don't see it before, I want to investigate. I've never seen, oh, it's a monkey helmet. Made by Remco. Looks way before my time, but it's G.I. Joe-esque. I like it, it's nice. Oh man, awesome, awesome toys from yesteryear. Um, this area typically kind of households uh, more of the older tin toys type era but I don't judge I like toys I'm an equal opportunity uh, for toys I like them all I appreciate them all we all have a different collector's heart see some G uh, Star Wars over there ooh my daughter would probably go bananas for this thing what is rainbow bright I believe is that sprite sprite sprite, sprite. What do you have on this, sir? Man, ten bucks a piece. Ten bucks a piece. 
Oh, it's so Silly tempting. Girls. Silly girls. Silly girls. Oh my gosh, she would love that forever. I don't know. Ten dollars. It's tempting. It's tempting. It's tempting. What do you What do you have in here yeah, man, that you haven't showed man, me? Dude. You've been keeping these from me. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at all these transformers. Look at the transformers. Yes. I wish I knew more about transformers, but I see GI Joes. There's the Pogo. Nice. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Two Spider Mans. Woohoo! Hey. Grimlock, some excellent Transformers. Wow, old school right there. The cases, the swords, the antiquities. What is this? I don't recognize that one. I'm loving it. I've seen a few of these, the store display Lego sets. There was another gentleman selling some of those. They're awesome, I love it. It has to be the right subject matter for me to, to get it. Not the Lego King. I like that. Oh yeah, they're they're sweet though. They are really neat. Like what what do these typically go for? What do you put? It looks like about hundred dollars a piece. That's what I figured. Hundred bucks a piece. Because you can't buy them. They weren't available to the public. Well, they should have. I think some of the employees. Oh yeah. Oh, I know. Employees were supposed to throw these away or be, you know, fired if they were caught stealing these things. Um, so yeah, someone with a connection obviously those smuggled my, them out. Those my, I got, got one here one time last time. Star Wars one. Star Wars one. Those are the hot ones. Yes, because everyone's Star Wars crazy. Yes, awesome. Terminator, Salvation, Kato, Green Lantern. Some more of the older toys mixed in with the younger generations. Uh, but again, I have an appreciation for all toys. I love them all. I see them. I want to know more about them. I talk to people. It kind of it looks like, look at that. What is that made out of? E.T. I should just start collecting E.T. My uh, sister-in-law is deathly scared of E.T. So whenever I get a chance, I send her, I mail her E.T. memorabilia. But what I love doing is kind of going into these and digging around and going, oh man, look at this. And sometimes they have bins and they'll say, you know, three bucks a piece, five dollars a piece or, or whatever. These bins are, are an excellent way to find figures that uh, can go in your collection. All sorts of different thing oh wow yes <laughs> oh man hot diggity dog look at little drawers of goodness motu is this your booth sir oh this is an excellent booth ah uh, that's right i was talking to you earlier and you were telling me about this oh that was your brother okay okay but you both I assume played with this oh, as yeah, a, yeah. a children. This yeah. is the original one that the, he, his brother was telling me he played with as a child. Yeah, yeah. I love the ghost trap. We did some negotiating. I, we weren't able to come to a price agreement on this. Um, hopefully, maybe I'll try a little bit later. I want to own that. I want it to come home with me. It's beautiful. I like the box, and I've always wanted this. That's the, the connection with the nostalgia. You want things that you owned, and you want things that you wanted as a kid but never had them, or a friend who saw them in the ad, a JCPenney ad, or Sears catalog. We got the Mumra's Tomb Fortress. Excellent piece right there. The foam's still intact. This stuff is fun. It's awesome. Thank you, sir. Yes. Um, more of the, oh my gosh, the build of figures, the Boba Fats. That's uh, oh, 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 yes. That one for the new movie that's coming out. And obviously, if you're watching this years from now, it won't be a new movie. It'll be an old movie. I can't wait to see how they utilize those like samurai looking royal guards. It's going to be excellent, epic. I cannot wait. More. Got some Ghostbusters. I try to grab these as often as I can because they're just neat pieces to uh, encounter. Nerf guns. Can't have enough Nerf guns. The backpack, some of the older toys. I wanted to make my way over here where I saw more Star Wars. Again, you can't get enough of Star Wars. And people, John Wayne. Oh man, um, John Wayne is beautiful. Some of the tin toys. 
Look at these, just Star Wars and goodness, just people bringing in their extras, stuff that they, they accumulated throughout their hobby and now they're selling off their extras like I mentioned before, so they probably can finance to buy more toys. It's the continuing cycle. Um, so that's about it for wrapping up this area. I can make my way over there, but you kind of get the general gist. It's Kane County Toy Show. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that little button in the left-hand corner. I'm Justice Curry. Before, just hold on two more seconds. I'm going to turn this off, and when I reappear, it's going to be with all the toys that we scored from the Kane County Toy Show. Take care. I'll see you in a moment. Hey, Chris. Look at, look at me real quick. <laughs> that was a rare, elusive... Chris, no last name. You cannot, you can never find them. It's the most obscure, random thing. But what I did find was even rarer. Can you introduce yourself, sir? Hi. I'm uh, I'm Brian Kaufman, uh, also known as Nova. Some people call me the Human Terradrome. <laughs> the uh, Human Terradrome. At at Hypnoshield on Instagram. How do you spell Hypnoshield? H uh, y p n o s h i e l d. Gotcha. And you have a Facebook uh, name, Brian, Brian Kaufman. K-A-U-F-F-M-A-N. Excellent. I've bought many things. You probably saw in my display cabinet. He's made me that clear snake armor. Um, he made me a custom bat that's black with like a sword hand. He's an excellent, you, excellent customizer. Does it customizer. Look, look like the glitter sparkles in it? Yes, yes, yes yeah. he made that. He brought some of his customs here with me or with us today. I wanted to show you guys because I know you're going to love them just like I did. Um, I'm not going to show you... The lat, we'll save the best for last, but okay. can you explain kind of uh, some of these figures? Yeah, like here, so we'll, uh, we'll just grab, so this is, this is, I did a set of three, oh, that's two Yodas, we need a, there we go, a set of three, oh, uh, Ben, Yoda, and uh, what's his name? Yes, uh, like they're uh, one with the force, is that Anakin? Yeah. Okay. They, these ones that are this blue color, they glow in the dark. They glow, and you mold these all yourself. Yeah, it's it's resin resin cast out of silicone rubber molds. Yep. Um, all the all the five point articulation figures I do have magnetic articulation. No way. And and the way I set up my magnets, <laughs> they are that all is awesome, dude. Interchangeable. Oh my gosh! Look and at then, like you can see the the figure you've got there. Yeah, what little, is this? Who is that? Well, it's a. Uh, it's got a cool hat. Oh my god! No! No! Oh, dude, I'm gonna have it's, to buy it's, this. It's, yes, it's the freaking uh, the light for the uh, hydro foil, right? Yep. Yes. Look at everyone's always missing that lens. So he took one of those little Star Wars, what's the pigmen or whatever? Yeah, Ugnots. Ugnots. And then he put, he molded the freaking search light, the spotlight of the hydro foil, and put a nice little red lens in there. Oh my gosh, so you're only asking 20 bucks, 25 yeah. bucks, yeah. and it glows? Yep. Oh, dude. You know, and then there's fun fun little things like, uh, you know, wow. OB-1B OB there. Yes, look at that. Yeah, oh so my goodness. Clear. He's got a little lightsaber in there with him. That is freaking but amazing. But, you he know, is if really you, cool. If you bought him and then you bought him, you can swap their legs if, you know, if you wanted red red limbs on your what you call it there you could you could do that sort of thing oh That's, interchangeable I, I, I try i try and make my uh, my approach as marketable as, uh, yes. as possible yes you know repeat repeat sales are, are good and for this business. is just a small sampling this is, yeah, this is just um so i was at the cincinnati toy show a couple weeks ago and it's it's really big star wars kind of thing of so course I was, I was walking around there was a little room to room trading thing so i just brought you know my my star wars selection you know, okay like hammerheads people People love the hammerheads. I love heads. hammerheads. Hammerheads yeah. are very neat figure. Do you have any translucent hammerheads? Uh, I'm sure you could make one if you didn't there, have them. At least there, there was a, there's at least a glow in the oh. dark. Oh. Yeah, a glue one. And... Look at this. Oh my goodness. Brian, these are freaking amazing. Does this have the magnetic articulation as yep, well? Yep, all these. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you do custom orders for people? Um. So, I mean, it, within reason, if they with, pay. If, if there's a if there's a specific color you you love you want. Yes. Tell me, mm -hmm. and eventually I'll 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 work it in because I love money. Yeah. You know, so if, if, <laughs> because if, it, it finances buying toys, playing. You know, we all have toy blood running through our mind, our, our veins, and Brian happens to be a gifted artist, so he uses that to you know get money out of people like me because i am going to get after we turn this camera off i'm going to give this man money because some of these figures are coming home with me um so but yeah like, you know so like 
there, what is there, this? So this is this is kind of one of the most recent figures I've I've done. Is I took <laughs> the Lone Ranger. Yes. Come on, dude. That is freaking amazing. And made like a little midget Lone Ranger. Yeah. I've, I've, I've done I've done him with the the two one B limbs, and he's like a robot cowboy. Nice. So that's kind of the whole thing that I've been, been working on is, is robot cowboys. And, and with customs, I've done other videos talking about customs. I mean, it's really a piece of art because you're not going to find anywhere else in the world someone that makes this exact same thing. This is his own style, the colors, you know, his interpretations. Yeah, you know, color matching is not always as easy as you might think. You know, black, okay. Black, yeah. I can do black. White, I can do white. But, you know, some like these, like the orange, the yellow. For me to match that color precisely again and again and again. Oh, yeah, that would be that would be very difficult. Yeah, so most of these you could consider these one off. Yep. And what I wanted to show you last but not least <laughs> a real Mickey Mouse Cobra Commander straight from Disney World. Check that out. Un unauthorized. Unauthorized. You mean you didn't get the, the I, unfortunately the trademark? I, can't, I can't I can't quite afford uh, <laughs> Disney uh, yeah, Disney's royalties. trademarks. Okay, so, all right. Yeah. So we're kind of this is like a back alley dealing, you know, the black market. No, I'm kidding. I'm sure Disney has so, bigger fish to fry. It was um, it's, a, it's artistic license, totally an homage. Yes. It's uh, it's with, within creative, uh, you know. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I love it. I. So people, I've seen people post these on the G.I. Joe Facebook groups. If you're not plugged in in the Facebook groups, you definitely need to find. I mean, there's, for every toy line, there's going to be a Facebook group, and you're going to find hundreds, if not thousands of people that share that same passion you do. And I've seen people on the G.I. Joe sites sharing some of Brian's uh, work, you know, and which I do myself. So, Brian, thanks for uh, talking with me. It was good, Absolutely. sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Thank you. Can't wait to see you again. And stay tuned. I'm going to show you my big haul in a moment. Okay. We survived, we made it through, I don't know, six, seven grueling hours of toy hunting, digging, laughing, crying, shelling out money, but the fruits of our labor are going to be self-evident. Check it out. Yes, it doesn't look like much, but it's very alluring. We've got the uh, Mad Balls football. Not uh, something you don't see very often. And all these, I mean, I'm not paying top dollar. They all came at very moderate, decent prices. These, come on, look at a $10, yes, original Transformer, the Dinobots. Is that what they're called, Dinobots? Yeah. Yes. Unbroken. Uh. Slag, snarl, and grimlock. Oh, come on. Super, super excited about this one for my personal collection. This is Estrella. So Brazil made this um, this Hiss tank. See, it has the Estrella under there. I learned that uh, many of them, the the U.S. mail away versions, actually had the Estrella st uh, stamp on it. I think in the 90s. But what makes it unique, and you know it's original to be Estrella, is the paper type. Um, stickers that are much different from our from our own stickers this I'm excited about the ED 260 I have it already but now I have it boxed and some of these were just you know you can't turn them down he wanted I don't know four bucks a piece on them and these are constantly broken even though it's not complete night forced vehicles and other sky patrol and Ninja Turtles yeah it may be missing stuff but for the price you can't beat it um again some star wars real nice minty white the snow speeder looks complete with that what i'm very impressed is what he picked up here what did you get i've been searching high and low for this in a decent box oh my quite god some time. look it's at complete. this it's complete yep oh my gosh the mobile support vehicle i'm the third owner the third 1972 Hasbro. So this is the old school 12 inch GI Joes. That's um, a lot of the old. I mean, obviously he didn't grow up in the early 70s, but he has an appreciation for them. We like the three and three quarter inch, the 80s Joes. But again, I have a large 12 inch Joe in my GI Joe collection because it was my old man's, and I love it. This. 
I, sh I talked about it earlier. You saw me walking. I went back. We negotiated a deal, and now I own it. It is complete. It's in there. It's got this weird little kid just like, you know what? That'd be fun to try to find him now. Where are you now? Some snow serpents. Prices that I just could not beat. One, two, three snow serpents. Night forest. <laughs> the royal guard that you saw me earlier with the... I passed up on that one. Oh yes, he did. And I scooped the scraps. Check out this transformer case with lots of miscellaneous transformers in there. Um, what I look at that—a four-dollar bat with chess symbol. I'd pay ten dollars just for the darn chess symbol alone. So that's cool. He's got some miscellaneous. Oh yeah, that's always missing. His visor, that visor and headpiece, guys. Go banana. They go bonkers for that. They love them. Um, and there's even stuff under it, right? Yeah. Well, again, we took it all out. It was extra accessories in here. Like there was extra accessories. Of, oh, some of the G1. That's the, actually the G1 Dinobot stuff. So the stuff I need. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, looks yeah. like we're gonna be doing some trading <laughs> later. Okay. I see. Uh, what I'm super excited for is this. An older gentleman goes, you know what, I picked this up and a lot of stuff, I don't really know G.I. Joe's, I don't care about it. Um, and he let it go for a nice mass price that we worked out, came to an agreement, and look at All of these are 80s, few 90s, and oops, that didn't belong in there, but G.I. Joe's, you got Tiger Force, Roadblock, and I mean, he's already got them marked. Granted, that's way too high of a price, but he goes, just give me, whoa, the rarest Tiger Force Sergeant Slaughter. That's pre-production. <laughs> Kidding, it's not. It's just a kit bash. Someone put two figures together. Um, but that's, if you don't ask, you'll never know. A lot of people won't ask how much for all of it. And we came to an agreement. And, you know, I said a number, he said a number, we found somewhere in between, and it was mutually beneficial for him. He didn't have to deal with these, and it'll be beneficial for me because I'll try to upgrade some. I'll part them out, I'll sell them to friends, I'll trade them for army builders that I want, and it's uh, it's all in good fun. Another, oops, yep, that was that one. Another excellent thing I kind of saw. Did you have anything in that bag? What's, what's in oh, that yeah. bag? This one, the Mammoth Marauder. Now I think this was the Imperial Toys, kind of the hard plastic type deal. Um, I have some of them for my Fierza T uh, figures from, what is that, Argentina, my He-Man figures. I love them. I, and granted, this cost an arm and a leg, but I would probably find it again, but I'll never find it with that basket and those two little guns and the artwork. I mean, come on, look at that. It's just some type of space station, there's elephants. It's too cool to pass up. And the artwork on the back, all these other ones, I dig it, I love it. These are some of my very, very favorites. So that's proud to add it in my collection. Ooh, I didn't see you picked up this. Nice, nice, the ferret. You, know, five bucks. you got, come on. Yeah. $5 a piece? Yeah. Snow serpents are five a piece? And then he's got, look at that, a low light with a bipod that someone's going to pay 10 bucks just and for that darn. And a crazy darn, legs. A crazy legs. With the stock. Yes, with the stock. These are the deals. For, uh, 20 bucks. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, and nice. Serana, five bucks. Serana, five bucks. Oh, nice. Alpine, junkyard, and mutt. Right. And law, up. or what's law and order? No, no, no. Junkyard and mud. Yep, and then I picked That's up right, law and order is the MP. I Sorry, brain fart. I'll, <laughs> I'll edit that out. Here's this, and I don't want to steal your figures. I do, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of, I'm sure I'm missing. So, oh, yes, I bought that Robocop. You saw me buy the Robocop, um, the Stretch Armstrong Turtle. So this is the fruits of our labor finding these things, some of which you would never even find on eBay. We had a good time, we had a bonding experience, now we get to drive several hours home, but we had a fun time. Did you have a fun time? I had a definitely fun time. All right, I'm glad to the hear that. The adventure started for me at 3.30 in the morning. 3.30 in the morning, <laughs> woo! All right, folks, Kane County, subscribe, talk to you later, all, bye.